Hello, Yolanda. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. How are, How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> Are you ready for this class? Yes, teacher, I am ready. <laughs> I see you're a little tired. tired. Yes, I am so tired, teacher, but uh, I am ready for the class. Okay, good. I promise this class is going to be very fast because it's going to be okay. very interesting. <laughs> <A quiz. laughs> okay. okay, let's start. Uh, in the meantime, I will wait for the others to incorporate. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of material to, to share today. So let's uh -huh. start. Uh, oh, Rafael is there too. Hi, Rafael. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How's this famous pilot? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. It's a pleasure. And to you see again. Okay. Let's start with How the class. your day? Oh, good. So let's start with the class. Listen. Okay. Um, today we're going to uh, begin with the section four, right? Section four. Uh, and the lesson four says lesson objective. In this class, you will learn how to tell stories. We're going to learn how to tell stories. I imagine you like stories, especially a horror story, you know? So today we're going to share something about this. So let's start with the video, right? This is a video. And the name of the video is Around the Campfire. So we're going to watch the video and write a summary of the story. And we're going to discuss together, right? About this spooky story. Spooky stories like, you know, frightening, scary, a horror, etc., etc. That's a sp spooky story, right? Now, what is the name? Uh, what is spooky is a horror story spooky. a sc scary story uh -huh. it's the same okay I, no I, I i i i didn't know i didn't see the 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 word but i i i see now it's oh, spooky. Good. spooky okay. yes like you know la ciguanaba and el padre sin cabeza you know uh, ministerio de hacienda and those horror stories yes <laughs> okay no comments, teacher. No comments, no comments, <laughs> yes. I don't know, the, the exception regime, no. <laughs> ah, no, 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 Shh, no, no, don't say anything. <laughs> okay, now, I'm going to share uh, the video with you. And I have the video here, I guess. Let me see. Yes. Okay. Let me see. I have to change this. Um, let me see the video is here, I guess. Okay, very good. Around the campfire, yes. It's open, right? Okay, let's watch the video. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. 
What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this whole campground? It isn't scary, is it? Scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that, just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. Was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over. She didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town searching searching and in his hands he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor dead bride so how did it turn out what finally happened to him that's the spooky part it's a mystery people saw him less and less and then theodore mcshane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you, ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers, and they're in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that, thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. Okie dokie. So that's the story, right? Um, uh, but the audio is very bad, teacher. Oh, really? Sorry. Okay. No, but in the original uh, story in our uh, in the platform. Know, platform, yes, ah. it's very bad. But but you heard the story here in, in my video. Oh, yeah, good, good. So now I will ask you some questions, right, about this story. 
and you're going to tell me true or false. Let me tell you that especially North American people enjoy telling stories, right? Especially these spooky stories about mysterious things, right? you know, uh, horror things. And um, uh, this is very common, right? Now I will ask you these questions. Uh, let me see. You can see my screen, right? Okay, let me see. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, okay. Just give me a second. This is going slowly and slowly. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's it, right. Now, tell me true or false, right? Uh, let's just start with Mauricio, please. I, I hope you, you, you heard the full story, but Helen heard a story at the restaurant. That is true or false, Mauricio? Helen heard a story at the restaurant. Uh, I'm really, I don't know, but I think it's, it's false. It's false. Correct. Very good. Uh, Yolanda, Molly doesn't like scary stories. That is true or false? True. True. Yeah, that's what Molly said. Ooh, I don't like those, those spooky stories. Right? Okay, good. Uh, Rafael, please. Uh, the campground used to be a farm. You know, they are camping in this place. In the past, it used to be a farm. That is true or false? Uh, what does mean farm? Farm is the way, way you have a lot of chicken, pigs, cows, uh, and you can get milk from this place. Okay, sorry, I will say the in the Spanish, right? Granja, a farm, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, in the place where they are camping in the past used to be a farm. True. That's totally true. Right? Very good. And the last one. Uh, let me see uh, anybody else in here in the group. Ooh, yes. Uh, only. Oh, yes. Crisia Melara, new student. Welcome, Crisia. Welcome Hi. to the class. Thank you, Hi. teacher. <laughs> uh, did you see the video, Crisia? Yes. I... Okay, good. So I can make this question to you, Crisia. Uh, tell my chain died in a fire. True. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, there was another person who died. The person that oh, is okay. the person that is uh, dan 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 with tell my chain. Who is that person, Christian? Remember, mm -hmm. there was a fire, right? Yeah. The, the, the house in the farm was on fire, uh, a lot of smoke, you know, and someone died. It was the man, Ted McChain, or the wife? The wife. The wife, very good. Yeah. The wife died right in the, in the fire. Francisco Lopez, welcome, Francisco. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, my name is Javier Gomez. I'm gonna be your teacher. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. It's a pleasure. Okay, we're discussing this video together, right? Okay, now we're going to see the video again, but this time I will put some, um, uh, I say, uh, the subtitle, subtitle, yes. Subtitle, caption, right? So let's watch the video again. Okay. Later, after we see the video, I will make more questions to you, right? Oops, sorry. Yes, it's there. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean, what about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Scary stories freak me out. 
Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that. Just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the field, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. Was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over. She didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor dead bride. So how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you, ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay, then. I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. No, oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, your ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that, thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted, Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted, Ted McShane. You have a good night. <laughs> poor girl right <laughs> yeah oh, okay let me see now i have more questions for you Wait a minute. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. Okay, I have more question for you. Give me a second here. Okay. Okay, these are the questions. Going slowly, slowly here. Give me a second class. Okay, here. A little bit more. 
Yes, I guess this is the exactly place. Okay, question number one. Uh, let me see if I can move it a little bit more, a little bit more. Yes, okay, good. Uh, question number one, right? Let me see. Uh, this is for Sofia. Vanessa likes scary stories. That is true or false? True. True. Yes. Okie dokie. Very good. Francisco, the man in the story was a farmer. True or false? Theodore McChain, right? Is the man in the story. He was a farmer. True or false, Francisco? I think it's, it's true. My goodness, you're totally right. Yes, it's true, right? Number three, uh, I didn't ask. Um, Rafael again, help me, Rafael. Uh, the fire started because of a hot and dry summer. False. It's tot um, <laughs> okay, there were many reasons, right? Maybe the, the, the woman was cooking or something, but remember when it's very hot and dry, mm, fires don't very, grow very, very easy, right? So I think it's, Rafael, true or false? True. It's true. true. Very good. That's it. Very good. So Yolanda, where is Yolanda? Oh, yes, Yolanda, please, again. Number four. The park mm -hmm. ranger wanted to scare the girls. Mm, mm, false. It's he false, right? To, he, didn't, to check. he didn't mean. He didn't mean to scare, right? Uh -huh. the, the girls. That's it, right? And oh, oh Noemi is in the club. Noemi, did you see the video? No, no, no. Oh, That's wow. So with my internet. No problem. No problem. So just uh, observe, please. Observe. And um, Mauricio, again, please. Vanessa is embarrassed. Uh, remember, embarrassed is not the the word be pregnant, right? No, it, this is something different. Right? Embarrassed is a chain, a chain, right? Vanessa is embarrassed that they were so easily frightened. That is true or false, Mauricio? Uh, yeah. Is he frightened? It, frightened? What, what is? I mean, what does that mean? Frightened. Frightened Hello? is when I say, uh, uh, "boo." For example, oh, hey, right? So you you scared. You are scared, right? Uh, can you hear me? Because I sent I see a message that my my internet is going down. But can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. So. When, when, yeah. when, okay, think. thank you, thank you. So when a person I is easily frightened, true. is that you you scare the person? You say, "Boo, <laughs> no, no, don't scare me. I'm, I'm easily frightened." You know. Uh, sorry, ladies, but normally women are like easily to frighten. You know. But sorry, sorry, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> okay, no, no. There are some men that you only say "boo," right? You only say, for example. Uh, arbitro de football. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you get easily frightened. Okay, Mauricio. So your answer is true or false? True. True. My goodness. Yes, it's true, right? And the last one, uh, let me see. Chris, again, help me, Chris. The ranger is the same person from the story. True. It's true. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I agree with you that it's true, right? But in the real life or the, the message of the story is that no, it's not really the same person, right? It's not the same person. It, it was a coincidence according to the story. But the okay. impression you have, yes, it's the same person, right? But yes, okay, I will say, Accept yeah. your answer, right? Okay, that's it. That is the story. Now uh, we're going to make a review. We're going to make a review uh, of the story, right? And let me see. 
um, the story was about um, a man and a woman who were married and they live in a farm, right? And they were married, they were the machine, right? And after that, uh, the, they got, there was an accident, right? And the bride died, right? And then after that, what happened? After the, the, the bride or the, the woman, the wife died, what happened? Who wants to help me to finish the story? What happened to Theodore Machain? What happened the to this husband? Mm -hmm. right. Yes, Sophia? He makes me crazy. He got Jay. crazy, right? Okay. Yeah. And <laughs> thank you very much. And Rafael, mm -hmm. what do you think he he used to do with the flowers? Because he had some flowers, a bouquet of flowers, right? Wild flowers. What is the purpose, Rafael, of the flowers? Rafael? Okay, so Yolanda, help me. Uh, what was the purpose of the flowers, Yolanda? I think the flowers are a gift, no? For uh -huh. the woman. For the I, dead, for the dead that, woman. The right? woman. Uh -huh. yeah. it's a, I think it's a symbol of, uh -huh. the, of his, uh, I don't know, love for her. Excellent, Maybe. my goodness, Yolanda is totally right, totally correct. <laughs> okay, that's it, right? Now uh, we're going to go to the next topic, right? Teacher, but I have a question. Tell me, <laughs> tell me, tell but me. I think uh, the, the flowers is not a, a good gift because uh, maybe a woman uh, suffers uh, or suffers uh, violence, no? Oh, really? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Always, man, uh, I don't uh, 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 that give uh, flowers when they are. Uh, <laughs> they do something they, far, right? They say sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, oh, come on, Jolan. My wife is listening. Don't give her ideas. <laughs> I like I to need give a her microphone. <laughs> no, no, we give flowers because we love our wives, you know? That's the reason. That's the real reason, Yolanda. We are not bad Before. person, right? <laughs> what is your opinion, Francisco? Francisco, are you married? Yes, are I am. Married? Are you married, married, Francisco? Yes, I am. Okay. I am Do you give flowers to your wife, Francisco? Uh, sometimes. Okay, good. For example, uh, when it's, when it's her birthday. Okay, her birthday. Dan, Dan, listen, Yolanda, listen for her birthday. Thank Francisco you. is not a bad man. He's, he loves his, his wife, you know? So I like to give her, birthday, her right? flowers. Thank you, Francisco. Okay. Uh, we need to convince Yolanda. Eh? <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Yolanda. I like your ideas. I like your ideas. In the real cases, teacher. <laughs> oh, come on. This is going to be a, a really hard uh, discussion, right? <laughs> okay. No, yeah, sometimes it's true. I agree. But but sometimes we, we do bad things, you know? I work yeah. with a woman uh, under uh, violence. <laughs> oh, I understand. <laughs> okay. yeah, sometimes. <laughs> but remember, it's not a question that you are a man or you are a woman. It's a question of some people are good, some people are bad, right? That I believe. But next time you receive flower from uh, from your husband, be happy, eh? <laughs> Don't say, what did you do? What did you tell me? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next part, right? Uh, this is grammar. I like the story, but now we have to go to the grammar, right? Uh, in this class, you will practice the past continuous versus the simple past. Past continuous versus the simple past. Okay, uh, let's go to the video. 
But uh, let me tell you something about uh, the platform. Uh, I will give you a clue. So next time you have problems to understand grammar, you can go to a resource we have in the platform, okay? So look at, at what I'm doing. Check, please. After the video, at the end, at the end, we have here, right? English Corporativo, right? Inscribete ya, Centro de Ayuda, et cetera, et cetera. But when it says, pay attention, pay attention. Centro de Ayuda, click in Centro de Ayuda. Uh, here, right? In Centro de Ayuda, down, down, you have this, Recursos Académicos. Recursos Académicos, you see? So here, you go to grammar. Look, I check grammar. You also have pronunciation, vocabulary, and video conferences, you know? But we check on grammar, look. Okay, when I have the grammar, I have basic grammar, intermediate grammar, and advanced grammar, you see? Now here, in intermediate grammar, because you are in inter intermediate at this moment, right? You're pre-advanced, so you're uh, uh, intermediate, you know? Uh, between advanced and intermediate. So in here, you have these topics, look. Number one, past progressive and simple, pa ah, this is the topic. But there are other topics, infinitives, conclusion, future, phrasal verbs, requests, present perfect. Remember the last topic? Request with can, could, will, would. This is the last topic, right? Adjective, superlative, gerund, et cetera, et cetera. But I am interested in number one, look. Number one is, is a PDF presentation. Ah, past progressive and simple past, look. Examples. Examples, structure, grammar structure, okay, uh, exercises, etc., etc. Look, everything is here. Look, understand? So this is a resource only, right? You can you can follow a resource, okay? Now let's come back to the let's come back to the video, right? Now, after the class or tomorrow, or when you have a break, you can go to this again. Eh, Centro de Ayuda, Centro de Ayuda, Recursos Académicos, Intermediate, Grammar, and the topic is eh, Past Continuous versus Simple Past, right? But now let's watch the video together. Let's watch the video. And what other action interrupted? continues and a simple past. Additionally, you'll learn how to express your ideas using both tenses. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to learn is that we'll use both tenses together in order to express complex sentences. So let me give you a quick example. If you want to explain that you were doing an activity such as eating dinner and you were in. Oh, my internet. My internet is a little down in this moment. We can hear you. Ah, with the Muppet. <laughs> okay, now, uh, my internet with, <laughs> you, you were asking about Dino, right? <laughs> Sorry, no, no, uh, the internet didn't help me, so I, I couldn't turn on my, my microphone. Sorry, sorry. Okay, excuse me for the problem here. Now let's continue with the video. Let's continue with the video. My internet is causing me troubles right now. Okay, let's continue, right? My girlfriend called me. So let's look at the definition. We use the past progressive with the simple past to describe an action that was 
interrupted by another action. So if we look at this example here, there were a join the morning. This is the action that was in progress. And there was an interruption. That interruption was that when the thief stole the briefcase. So now let's look at some other examples. So we got about two or three examples here. And um, again, we are trying to express that whole idea that there was a continuous action happening in the past and there was an interruption that occurred. So the example here is while he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. So if we look at the timetable here at the bottom, we can see that the past event was, or the past continuous event was that he was escaping from the bank. All of a sudden, this action was interrupted by this blue event, which is the robber got caught in the revolving door. Um, and then the next example is quite similar. As Jake was running towards the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. Last one is uh, similar. The secretary was making a speech when a protester threw an egg at her. Um, just a quick reminder here. Um, also something that we should uh, keep in mind is that usually, not all the time, while and as will follow a past continuous statement. So as you can see, while he was escaping from the bank, as Jake was running. So typically, these words will follow a past progressive uh, statement, if you will. So what we're going to try to do next is we're going to look at a small paragraph and we're going to try to make sense of it. I will do this one together with you guys, and you'll do the next one. So what we want to do here is, number one, we want to identify if the statement will be in the past progressive form or it will be a simple past form. In order to do that, we must follow this um, concept that I mentioned. That we will use the past continuous for an action that was in progress in the simple past for an action that interrupted that particular action. So the two events are related to one another. Uh, sometimes the events may be separate from each other and that's when, uh, that's the kind of thing that you need to understand. So let's look at the first one. What you're gonna do is you're gonna use these verbs in parentheses that you see here and you will either turn those into a past progressive form or a simple past form. So while divers, as I mentioned previously, uh, typically, we will use, whenever you see this word, it will typically follow a past progressive form, but let's make sure that it makes sense. Well, so while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they, and here we should use this verb, but then we have to change that into a past progressive form. Let's see. So while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they, discover a shipwreck containing gold worth $2 million. So yes, it looks like this first event is related to the second sentence. Therefore, this is the action that was in progress. And this next sentence is the interruption of this event. So let's kind of like make it work. So while divers were working, answer there. Off the coast of Florida, they discovered shipwrecked containing gold worth two million dollars. Okay, so that makes sense for the first one there. Now let's look at the next one. The divers uh, and also the next sentence also appears that there was an action that was in progress and then there was an interruption. Okay, so this one, uh, we're gonna use the verbs in parentheses. So, so the divers, and we're gonna say where, we're gonna take that verb and we need to change that into yeah. progressive form. We're filming a show about the coral reef when they found the gold. We also need to change that verb into a past form. So. There we go. Okay, so what I'd like for you to do is to identify whether the sentences are related to one another. And if so, 
identify what was the action that was in progress and what other action in Okay, that's it, right? Give me a second here. Okay. Here, right? Now, um, I will explain what is the meaning of these two topics, right? The past continuous versus the simple past. Let me explain first that the two uh, topics happen in the past. The two are in the past, right? But to explain this, I will show you what I'm doing right now. I will mind that I'm singing. Look, I am singing, right? Okay. Oh, the teacher was singing when somebody turned, turned off the light. The teacher was sing, singing badly, by the way. And uh, when someone turned off, the light. The two events happen in the past, but the, the action of singing, right? The action of singing was interrupted by the lights off, right? Okay, understand? Another example, right? Yum, 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 yum. I am eating, you know. Yum, yum. Okay, and then ring. Oh, okay, hello. So the teacher was eating when somebody called, you know? So the action of eating in the past was interrupted by other action that is simple past, somebody or someone called, right? So again, it was a continuous action in the past and then it was interrupted by the simple past, understand? Okay, then uh, let me show you here that, uh, give me a second, here, right? That we can use words like while, as, and when to describe that something was happening in the moment, in that moment, right, in the past. Okay, and you can change, you can change the order, right? For example, I can, I can look at this example, I can change this. While he was escaping from the bank, the rover got caught, in the revolving door, you know, the revolving door. So I can change and I say, uh, a rover got caught in the revolving door while he was escaping from the bank. Huh? You see, I can change the position of the, of the past continuous and the simple past. The same happened here. As uh, Jake was running toward the wall, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong wall, right? You know, trip is like the tropezor, right? He tripped. Good. So I can change. Jake tripped and kicked it into the wrong wall as he was running toward the ball. I can change the position, right? And again, I repeat. One event was happening in the moment, in the past, right? And it was interrupted by the simple past. That is the idea, right? Any question? No questions? So look at here, for example, right? Look at these examples in the, in the video. You know? Here, right? Uh, just give me a second. Oops. Yeah, well, here, right? That uh, you were using past continuous and the event was interrupted. Just give me a second. I want to show you exactly. Okay, here, right? It was interrupted by, by the discover, right? Good, the, the diver were filming, right? And they do, were interrupted by the action of fi finding something, right? This is found. Uh, do you have questions about this vocabulary? I have a question. I Sorry? have a question. Tell me, tell me, Francisco. Uh, the meaning of ask 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 mientras que mientras que Francisco 
o ¿Qué? al momento de, al momento de, o mientras que, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, I say, thank you. For, thank I you. can change. Listen, Francisco, I can change. As divers were working, uh, al momento o mientras que los buzos estaban trabajando, right? ¿Ok? So you can use as, you can use while, or you can use when. I can say, for example, when. When divers were working, while divers were working, as divers were working. So the three expressions are the same. Are the same. En el momento que, mientras que, okay? Understand? Okay, good. Thank you, Francisco. Other question? Questions about vocabulary? No, okay. What does, what does mean treat wreck? Treat wreck, hundimiento de, de un barco. For example, the Titanic, right? Okay. Remember the movie? Yes. Far, wherever you, okay. So remember <laughs> the movie? Okay. Yes. So okay, thank you. Titanic was a shipwreck. Okay. And remember Leonardo DiCaprio, okay? <laughs> shipwreck, right? Okay. Let's say Rose, Rose, Jack, Jack, Cubito de Hielo, Jack. <laughs> okay. Good. Any other question, class? No questions? Okay. Let's go to the task. Let's make this together, right? Let's make this together. Wait a minute. Here, right? Okay. One windy day, a woman... Okay. So remember what is the structure. The past continuous is was and where plus uh, where, present parts. Walking, right? And the simple past, do you remember the simple past? Is regular verbs where you add ed and irregular verbs that you have to memorize, right? That's the simple past, remember? Again, the past continuous is was and where plus a verb with ing, right? Like the example of the teacher, right? The teacher was singing, was singing, sing. In. And when someone turned, that's a regular verb, right? Raise out regular verb, turn off the light, right? Good. So here, what do you think? Is past continuous or, or simple past? Past continuous. Past continuous. Very good. So one windy day, a woman was walking her pet poodle down the street. A hairstylist was seen or saw. What do you think? Was seen. Was seen. So, in past. So, right? So, the hairstylist saw the dog, the wow wow, right? Through a window and what do you think? Past continuous or simple past? I think it's noticed. A uh, uh, past. Simple past. simple past, simple past, noticed with D, E, D, right? So we only have the D, noticed. Okay, later, while the stylist was creating or created, what do you think? Was creating. Was creating a new line of her care products for wow wows and meow meows. He, he what? Was gaming up or? Came up with simple past or past continuous? I think it's simple past. Simple past. Okay. Came up with a new other, slogan. Or their opinion? Okay, again, let's think about it, right? While the stylist was creating a new line of her care pole for dogs and cats, he, something interrupted. The past continuous action, he came up. came up or was coming up? Came up. Came up. Uh -huh. it's, it's simple past. Uh, I mean, came up is when you say se, se, se inventó, le, le vino a la mente, le vino a la cabeza, but came up with this new slogan, right? Even animals have bad hair stays. <laughs> Even the teacher has <laughs> bad hair days, right? So, but the thing is, I need you focus, right? That 
one past continuous action is interrupted by the simple path, right? Okay, good. Any extra question? No extra question? Good, so I'm, I will share a presentation, right? A presentation in PowerPoint PPT. And I want you to help me with this, right? Let me see. Okay, can you see the presentation? Yes, okay, good. Now, yes. okay, thank you. Now I have this story, right? Woman trapped in bathroom for 20 days, my goodness, right? And then you're going to use this verb, broke, drank, found, heard, locking, shouted, ah, shouted, stayed, waiting, went, and wandered, right? So let's start with the story. A 69-year-old grandmother in Paris went to the bathroom, right? Simple pass, simple pass. Went to the bathroom and broke, drank, found her, stayed, child, waiting. What do you think is the answer? Read, read and analyze. I will give you one minute to read, right? It's difficult. So try to understand, right? A state. Hey, my goodness. There for 20 days. <laughs> yes. A 60 year old grandmother in Paris went to the bathroom and stayed there for 20 days. Okay, so we eliminate this stay, right? No more elimination, right? What happened? Remember, right? Past continuous versus simple past. As she was uh, looking locking, the door. locking, was locking. The door. <laughs> locking the door. My goodness. Congratulations. Locking the door. The lock broke. Broke. <laughs> Broke, you know, the, the lock, the candado, right? You know, el cierre, right? Lock, the lock broke. So as uh, she was uh, locking the door, the lock broke. She could not open the door. The she door. Waiting. Uh, I don't know. Waiting for help. Shoot. Shoot. Shouted. Shouted. You know, uh, shouted. Shout, shouted. 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 Like, you know, she's free for help. So in this case, it's simple path, right? She shouted mm -hmm. for help, right? Help, help. Okay, shouted for help, but no one heard. No one heard, heard. Path, right? No heard. one heard her because her bathroom had no windows. You might you see the picture, no windows, right? After really three weeks. My goodness, three weeks in the bathroom. Can you imagine? The mm -hmm. woman's neighbors? Found. Found? Found where she was? Found. No. Wonder. Wonder, mm -hmm. right? Wonder is? Wonder. Andaban rondineando, right? Wonder. Wonder where Wonder she was. Wonder where she was. Oh, no, 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 no. In this context, no, excuse me, excuse me. No, in this case, wonder is, is asking, excuse me. Yeah, I confused the word. Wonder is asking, you know, it's like when you say, se estaban preguntando, wonder, you know? Uh -huh. Wonder where she was. Five fighters broke into her apartment and found. found her, right? Found her in a very weakened, you know, devil, weakened <laughs> state. While she was uh, waiting. 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 Okay, I forgot the, the, the ring, right? I will show you my, my bell. Okay, good. <laughs> good. So, while well, she was waiting to be res rescued, right? She? Um, uh, I think drank warm drank, water. Drank warm water, right? Okay, let's go fast. A 60 
a 69 year old uh, grandmother in Paris went to the bathroom and stayed there for 20 days. Sorry. What happened? As she was locking the door, the lock broke. She could not open the door. She uh, shouted for help and no one heard. Uh, because her bathroom had no windows. After nearly three weeks, the woman's neighbors wondered where she was. Uh, five fires broke into her apartment and found her in a very weakened state while she was waiting to be rescued. She drank warm water, right? Okay. Let me see. We have time for the next. Yeah, five minutes. We still have time. Let's go to the next, right? The same thing. It's another story, right? Tiger Cove. You know, cachorro, the tiger, right? Tiger cub found in Lugash. Oh my goodness, this is a nice story, right? The same thing, past continuous versus simple past, right? I will give you one minute to think uh, of the of the story, right? And you can see here the verbs: became, behaving, checking in, decide, hide, show, sleeping, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? If you have a question about the meaning of the words, of the verse, tell me, please. Tell me if you understand. One minute. Okay, let's start doing together, right? It's very difficult, I know, but remember this as a story. And what I need is that you focus in the use of the past continuous versus simple past, right? Okay. So say a woman was behaving. 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 All right, behaving oh, strangely, yes. right? When she uh, became the Bangkok yeah. airport. When she became no ah. enter enter very good i enter enter oh, a woman was behaving strangely you know like suspicious right suspicious. Mm -hmm. let me see right suspicious when she entered the bangkok airport right while she was checking, checking in checking in past continuous while she was checking in, you know, when they, they're checking your, your luggage, your bags, et cetera, et cetera, or an overseas flight. Uh, overseas flight is a flight that is over the sea, over the ocean. It, probably she's flying to El Salvador, right? And then she became difficult. No. She had, very good. She had difficulty with a very large bag it was a very large bag can you imagine okay a woman was behaving strangely when she entered the bangkok airport while she was checking in for an overseas flight she had difficulty with a very big bag the checking <laughs> clerk the check-in clerk i think it's open it Mm, no. no. Um, it's a simple pass. Became. 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 
uh, suspicious, right? And decided. Decided, very good. Became, uh, I mean, uh, suspicious and decided to x ray the bag, you know, zzz, zzz, mm -hmm. -ray the bag, right? The x ray showed, showed, showed. an image that looked like an okay. animal. <laughs> when airport staff, when the, the workers, right, the airport staff Open it. opened it the, right bag. In the bag, they saw that a the baby tiger. tiger was sleeping. <laughs> was sleeping. Baby, you can sleeping see the picture, under right? lots. Poor <laughs> tiger, you know? Oh, under yes. the, a lot of toy tigers. The tiger was taken to a rescue center for wildlife, and the woman. Uh, was arrested. Exception <laughs> regime, right? Regime in the exception, yes. right? <laughs> Go to <Yes>. jail. <laughs> you see, because it's not permitted to take wildlife from Bangkok. It's a, it's a crime. Ah, no. No. In El Salvador, yes. we have a lot of torogos and we sell the tigrillos, kuzuko, right? No problem. But in other countries, yes, you go to prison, right? Okay. Good. Congratulations, class. Again, you did a good job, right? Uh, uh, please go to the platform, right? And let me see. In the platform, we have uh, this exercise. Give me a second. Yes. We have this, this part, right? Yes, this part. So here you're going to complete using the past continuous versus the, the simple past is uh, exercise 4.4. After this class or tomorrow, please try to complete this part. If you have problems, tell me. If you have commentaries, you can make commentaries for me, right? And ask me if you have troubles, right? Um. Uh, believe me, I will read your commentary, right? Good. So do you have any extra question for, for this class? No, teacher. Sure? No. Uh, so uh, I want to say good, good night and somebody's... Remember, uh, I the story was about a tiger. I will show you a tiger, look. This is my tiger. Ah, <laughs> so <Hola>. funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a tiger. It's a dog, right? Okay. Oh, yes. Goodbye, class. Bye, Have a teacher. Uh, he, he has a, a beer in his in his pal. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes, the 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 imagine of the pal. The pal. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's a beer. Okay. You can see. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. God bless you. Have a good night. Bye.